Hey, what's going on guys? Today we actually have a few things that we're gonna be knocking out today on Zoe, the 350Z. So first off, we actually have some new pads and rotors over here from R1 Concepts. Huge thanks to them for sending these over. But uh, yeah, we got some parts in here that we're gonna be installing from them. That's gonna be first. After that, we're gonna be doing an oil change in the car and also changing out the break-in oil that is in the Pro Charger that we just installed. Uh, you're supposed to do an oil change at about 500 miles and it's probably been like like six or seven hundred something like that um it's been about two tanks of gas and i drive the car pretty hard anytime on that a minute so um pretty much just getting the car ready for uh, the next autocross event so let's get to it so i haven't actually looked in this box yet i mean i've gotten a little peek because of course it was busted open the box weighs like 40 or 50 pounds oh oh so we got the stickers r1 concepts Ooh, oh oh there's some interesting things in here so I believe this is actually like some show car shit. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I think you actually like, you can just put them underneath your wheel or if you ever wanna go to a car show, but I'll probably take some pictures with those in a little bit for Instagram, send them over. I'm sure they're gonna like that. They did not tell me they were sending these. So I'll definitely, uh, I'll make sure that they get used. And then of course, we got the pads. Now, thankfully, I actually talked to R1 Concepts and they did upgrade me to their performance pads. I really did not want to just get some normal um, OEM or OE. What are you doing? I found your new sponsor. Oh my God. If you don't Instagram, like take a picture and tag them. <laughs> I'm just going to tag them and say, seems fitting. There you go. It's content. Hell yeah, bud. Yep. R1 Concepts actually sent me their performance brake pads. I believe these are like semi-metallic or something of the sort. Either way, they should work a little bit better than their usual OE performance. Um, so yeah, we got upgraded to the Sport Series or to the Sport Pads. Let's see what these, these look like. Oh yeah, these things are gonna put out so much brake dust, but it's okay though, because it's a race car and we're, we're okay with it. I wanna get these open. I am a big fan of rotors and I believe, I don't know if they sent me blanks or if they're slotted or drilled and slotted. I'm totally cool with just having blanks, but um, of course everybody loves some drilled and slotted rotors. They just, they look a lot more aggressive. Oh shit, oh boy. Oh, we got, we got, oh, oh, we got some spicy ones. Hell yeah. Let's get to installing these things. And I'm really excited for this particularly because these SSR forged aluminum lugs that I've had on the car for like two years, I've actually already broken one of them, but we finally got some replacements for these lug nuts, something that's gonna last longer and be just as light. So I'll show you those in just a second. Let me show you the new lug nuts I got. These things are fucking cool. So Spinny Woosh, the people who actually made the vinyls for the door cards on the inside of the car, they actually came out with a limited run recently of titanium lug nuts. So these are the same weight as the aluminum ones, but stronger than steel. I'm excited for these. Those will be going on there eventually. Of course, with the graphite Koenig wheels, it should look pretty sick. All right, so first off, I'm noticing that this car is not high enough. God damn, very tight. All right, so let's get that bottom one. Bottom bolt gotta come off. All right, we're hitting it. Those are fucking in there. I guess last time I wanted to make sure that these did not come off. Yeah. Damn, I'm just realizing that this is probably close to the first time that a lot of you have actually seen under the car and what there is. Um, everybody thinks that this car might be built up quite a bit, but honestly, if you see right here, we're still on stock shocks. I literally just put some Swift Spec R lowering springs on the car and they've been great. I love them, but we do have some coilovers that we're actually gonna be installing next video. I'm looking forward for uh, you guys to see those. Let's get this off and we'll get the rotor off. And boom, these rotors have been through some shit. They've definitely, these, I hate to say this, but whenever I bought this car three or four years ago, 
I haven't done a single thing to the brakes except for put in 5.1 brake fluid and also some uh, stainless steel brake line. The slots are actually going the wrong direction. So whoever put those on had them on the wrong way. So those are for the front, I would assume. Yes, these are very, oh my God, these are so tiny. So we got hybrids for the rear, I guess, and metallic, low metallic for the front. Oh, so much prettier. Also, one thing I don't wanna forget, make sure that whenever you put new rotors on a car, you spray them off with brake parts cleaner and wipe it down. Because whenever they ship these and manufacture them, they cover them in a very light oil so that way they don't rust. Wipe down your rotors, clean them off a little bit, and then stick them back on and go to pound town. So pull that side off. There we go. I love whoever uh, had the car before me actually ended up spray painting the fucking brakes. Didn't even take the brake pads or anything off. Didn't take the calipers off. They straight up just painted them while they were still on the car. And then I can stick this clip in here somehow. There we go. Now it's in. Now uh, we can push the pad in all the way where it goes. Fun fact about me, I hate doing brakes. I think everybody does though. Get that one out the way. Dude, this is gonna be a bitch. Uh, it's not in this fucking clip. There we go. All right. So that's in. Son of a bitch. I remember having this problem last time I did this where they just keep falling out. All right. Holy Jesus. That has got to open up a lot. I got to figure out how to open these pads now. Time to go with the good old strategy. I know you're totally not supposed to do this, but this is my method. Everybody is just cringing right now. I can feel it. So this is what I do to open up brake pads. So get them apart, put the back sides together like that, and just pry them against each other. Just be very gentle. You can angle these to where it doesn't dig a point into the brake pads so you don't tear them up. See, whenever you don't have the proper tools, sometimes you just gotta make shit work. So now we can slap this on. Yep, there we go. Now we can slip this on new pads and rotors. Impact, impacto. And we can just tighten these, get this top one. And we can bump these, get them pretty tight so they don't come out. So there you go. That is how you install pads and rotors on one corner of your car. And then every other corner is gonna be pretty much the exact same. All right, so now I'm curious what this is gonna look like whenever it's done and it has the new lug nuts on with the wheels, the new rotors and everything being fully assembled. I think it's gonna look pretty clean. So I'm gonna slap this wheel on just cause I'm impatient and I really wanna see what this looks like. Of course, these are uh, very manageable, not super heavy. Thank you, Koenig. Oh shit, boy. These gonna be flashy as fuck. And another cool thing is that they're actually textured on the ends, so you can actually just put them on with your fingers. I just gotta get a socket for these. I don't know what size they are. My guess is 17. Yep. Ooh. The lug nuts are a very subtle touch. I like that. Ooh, all right. Let's bring this underneath. This has to be one of the most interesting light sources that I've decided to use. There we go. And gotta loosen it, of course. And the bottom one, uh-oh, that's a tight spot. I remember I needed a wrench last time I did this. And once we get that, hold this in place, set that right there and pull this off. Bam. Now, unfortunately, this one's probably gonna have to just hang. Oh, it's got a rubber cover on it. What? Weird. What the hell is this? What the, what the fuck? It's nothing but just a, a dust cover. Really? So why is this stuck on here? Oh, the e-brake is on. No wonder. So in the back, you actually have drum brakes for the handbrake. Now this should come off. 
There we go. You can go ahead and get this rotor on. Wipe that puppy down. Mmm. So slap that on. And now, how on the last one we had to separate the pads, I'm actually going to do that same thing on the old pads instead of the new ones. And these are also much smaller, so they're a little bit easier to press apart. So we can slap these back on. There we go. On to the other side. God, I dread the day that I ever have to swap out these axles. The threads are just so torn up. I'm probably never gonna get that off. Pull these off. Yeah. We'll go ahead and swap out the pads. And we'll swap this one out. We'll bop. Boom. Pull the rotor off and throw the new one on. Wipe this down, slap that on, put the caliper back on, and now we can tighten. Tighten it real, real good. Uh. And we got one corner left. Ooh, and I'm also seeing that the tire has been rubbing on the charge pipe. Fuck, I'm gonna have to fix that before we uh, just slap everything back together. There we go. It also sounds like there's fluid coming out of the reservoir, which it probably is. Yeah, there's a little bit coming out, but that's okay. E. See, this is the, the difficult part of brakes. Yeah, I'm definitely dripping brake fluid on the ground. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to fill it back up. All right, so now that that's good, take this one off, throw it out the way. Last rotor. So note to self, the front pads are significantly harder to change than the rear pads. And now we can stick these back on. Come on. There we go. Got, got it. Yeah, I'm definitely dripping fluid. Ah, not good. Hey, Sarah, yeah. can you hand me a napkin? Thanks. Oh, this is a dirty one. Yeah, better one. Too late. Yeah, that thing is still dripping fluid. And tighten up the top one all the way. That is a completed brake job. So now I'm gonna clean up all the leftover brake parts, put the wheels back on, and then before we drive the car again or do anything else, still gotta change the fluid in the Pro Charger, change the engine oil, and I gotta move that charge piping out of the way so that way the tire isn't rubbing it. I gotta move it forward somewhat. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's get that all the way out and bop. And of course we do have a magnetic drain plug so we can go ahead and see how much uh, metal is on the tip of it. I don't think it's much. It doesn't look like much. Dang, there's like none. I mean, there's a, a little tiny bit, but that's not abnormal. I'll probably go ahead and drain the supercharger. That looks like a bigger socket. I'm also probably gonna have to move this out the way. Go ahead and get that one loose. So that's out. And we gotta get it out of this one. Mm. Now this can come out and this is not too bad. I mean, it's got, it's torn up a little bit. We should be able to drain the fluid out of the supercharger if I can make sure I got the right size. And probably gonna need to just pour it into a water bottle. So I'm gonna drink this. That will be our catch. Ooh, first supercharger oil change. It's got a very interesting smell to it. And I accidentally dropped the, uh, the plug. Give me that. And out, there it is. So we will go ahead and stick that back in and we'll put in another uh, two and a half ounces of supercharger oil. Where'd that rag go? I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the underside of the supercharger. It's kind of covered in oil right now. Make sure that thing stays clean. Grab some oil, put it around the O-ring. Always remember to lube your O-ring so it seals properly. Oh, I forgot we gotta prime our oil filter. And here we go, fill her up a little bit. Now we can slap it on there. 
There we go. And that's it. Our oil change is almost complete. Supercharger oil. And each of these is straight up just two and a half ounces. You just pour this whole entire thing into your supercharger. So you get a screwdriver, open up the fill hole to the supercharger, pull the dipstick out. It's kind of interesting that a supercharger has a dipstick. I thought that was funny. Two and a half ounces going in and boom. That is all of the oil. After that, just screw it back down. And our supercharger is officially broken in. Now the engine oil. Rotella, that diesel boy oil for all that harsh pair. Wow, that was almost bad. That almost made a real big mess. Ooh, that was close. Oh yeah, I still gotta put the charge pipe back in. Ah, so shove that back up in there. And this is down here. We need that to go forward. So a way that we can make it go forward is actually by loosening this and shoving that on more. So I'm probably about to do that. And we can stick this on here. That's being pulled forward as much as possible. So that's not gonna move much, if at all. And it shouldn't hit the wheel. All that's left is put the wheels on and take it for a test drive. And that'll be it. So let's get these wheels back on. Ooh, with the new lug nuts too, boy. Ooh. Ooh. One more corner. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and start this thing up real quick to make sure I don't hear any weird noises, you know, for like lack of fluid somewhere. But I believe everything is good and ready to go. I can smell all the oil burning off from the exhaust down below where it was leaking before. Diff things. Gotta love an open diff. Who is calling me? Hello? What is good, my dude? What's up, dude? What's you doing? I am about to put my uh, Z back on the ground and drive it up to the shop for a test drive. That's quite convenient because we're probably about to go to Eljar here in a little bit. Really? That's pretty convenient because I haven't eaten yet and I'm also pretty hungry. Well, Goddamn, look at that. Well, That's shit. fucking brilliant. Well, shit. You want me to just meet y'all there uh, soon and we can just leave together? Yeah, we're, we're putting some fucking JB Weld on Rob's headers real quick. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Let's put this thing back on the ground and let's get out of here. Let's go eat some lunch or something. This car needs gas. 17 miles until empty. Yep, the brakes are definitely squishy. It's gonna take a minute for those to get normal again. Yeah, they're, they're real squishy. It's gonna be a minute before I actually have any real pedal feel. Low car. as the previous brakes, but they feel more consistent.
brakes are looking pretty good all the way around. Looks like all the corners are getting even pressure. Uh, well, I guess that was a successful brake install. Guess that's gonna be it for this video. Next video, which is actually gonna be tomorrow for me, we're gonna be installing coilovers on this car. And uh, I have no idea how that's gonna go because we got some pretty special coilovers for you guys. Should be pretty entertaining. So hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys next time.